Anthony Nolan saves the lives of people with blood cancer. If you're on the Anthony Nolan stem cell register and you come up as a match, this is what would happen next. When someone anywhere in the world needs a stem cell transplant, we search our register of brilliant potential donors. If you're a match, we'll get in touch. We'll ask you to go to your local doctor's or hospital to give a blood sample, which you send back to us for further tests to make sure you're the best possible match for the patient. Once we're sure you're a match, we'll let you know the exciting news and we'll chat on the phone about the details of donating. Next up, we'll give you a full health checkup to make sure you're in tip-top shape. We'll pay for all your transport to one of our specialist hospitals, where you'll also go to donate. About a week later, we'll give you the go-ahead if everything looks fine and make arrangements for your donation, including booking all your travel and a hotel. For 90% of people, they will donate via Peripheral Blood Stem Cell Collection, or PBSC, where stem cells are collected from your bloodstream. For four days, a nurse will come to you, at home or work, and give you a course of injections that stimulate your body to produce stem cells. You'll probably start to feel a bit achy. That's as the stem cells emerge from your bone marrow and flood your bloodstream. They work to help your body repair, so they're completely natural. On the fourth day, you and your companion will travel to the hotel to put your feet up for the night. The next morning, you'll go to our specialist hospital and your donation will begin. You're connected to a PBSC machine, which takes blood out of one arm, filters the stem cells out, and then returns the blood to your other arm. This takes about four to five hours and you can't move too much, so bring a pal who's good to chat to and a box set to get through. When you've finished, your bag of stem cells is taken to a lab to check the count. And if they're enough, you can head home. If we haven't collected quite enough, then you'll need to pop back the next day for another session on the machine. After your donation, you'll probably feel a bit tired, but this passes after a few days. For 10% of people, they donate via their bone marrow. This is because it's sometimes better for the patient, which is why we make sure when you sign up to the register, you're happy to donate via both methods. You travel to our specialist hospital with your companion, where you'll stay for the night whilst your pal goes to a hotel. The next morning, you'll have a general anaesthetic and a short procedure where bone marrow is taken from your pelvis using a needle and syringe. When you wake up, you'll have two plasters and feel a bit bruised in the areas where the bone marrow was taken from. You'll also feel tired after the anaesthetic for the next few days. You might want to take some paracetamol and rest, and you'll spend the day and one more night in the hospital recovering. Whichever method you donate by, someone from Anthony Nolan will come to say a huge thank you and give you a goodie bag just to make sure you know you're doing an amazing thing. After you've donated, your stem cells will be taken to the waiting patient who's had their immune system wiped out in preparation for the donation. They need your stem cells to kickstart their immune system into action and help begin their recovery. Your body replaces your donated stem cells quickly and you will have given someone a second chance at life. You can help save the lives of people with blood cancer. And we think that's incredible.